السلام عليكم استاذ can you share with us your favorite descriptions of heaven or the blessings of heaven thank you صباح الخير السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ladies and gentlemen welcome back to our program صباح الخير and today we have a question that relates to my favorite description of heaven or the blessings of heaven now firstly let me talk about this particular issue of the descriptions of heaven on one hand we have a narration in which the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam says pertaining to heaven it is what no eyes have ever seen nor any ears have ever heard and no heart that can ever perceive it So again, in this particular hadith, the Prophet is saying that this is something that you can truly cannot fathom, something that you can truly cannot conceive, this idea. But on the other hand, what you also find in many hadiths of the Prophet ﷺ would be details of heaven and the blessings of heaven and what people shall enjoy in heaven. Concerning drink, concerning food, concerning enjoyment, concerning house, and so on and so forth. Now, to reconcile between these two contradiction is to suggest that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa is telling us that in these details that we have, this is simply just a fraction of what the mind can understand of the greatness of the blessings of heaven. In reality, the intensity of the blessings of heaven can truly never be fully grasped. Now, answering the question, My personal favorite information pertaining to the description of heaven or the blessings of heaven. Let me read to you two hadiths of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in brief. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam tells us that I know the last of the inhabitants of fire to be taken out therefrom, and the last of the inhabitants of paradise to enter it. A man will come out of the fire crawling, and then Allah subhanahu wa taala will say to him, Go and enter paradise. Go and enter heaven. So he would come to it and it would appear to him as if it were full. He would go back and say, Ya Allah, I found it to be full. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would say to him, Go and enter paradise. He would come and perceive as if it were full. He would return again and say, Ya Allah, I found it to be full. Allah would say to him again, Go and enter paradise, for that is for you the like of the world. And ten times like it, or for you is ten times the like of this world. The narrator said, he that man would say, Ya Allah, are you laughing at me, although you are the king? The narrator then said, I saw the Prophet laughing till his front teeth were visible. And it was said, that would be the lowest rank amongst the inhabitants of heaven. Imagine, ladies and gentlemen, the lowest rank of the inhabitant of heaven is a person who has the entire world times 10. In another hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam, I like this one a lot. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam said that in heaven, there is a market to which the people will come every Friday. The northern wind will blow and shower fragrance on their faces and clothes and consequently it will hunt and And consequently, it will enhance your beauty and loveliness. So a person goes there, does win, he becomes much more handsome, he becomes much more lovely. They will then return to their wives who will also have increased in their beauty and loveliness. And their families will say to them, we swear by Allah that you have increased in beauty and loveliness since leaving us. Thereupon they will reply, we swear by Allah that you have also been increased in beauty and loveliness since we left you. These are, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the two descriptions of heaven that for me is very interesting and very motivating, I would say. The most important thing, ladies and gentlemen, in learning about the descriptions of heaven and the blessings of heaven, the rewards of heaven, is to not just be amazed by these intricacies and these details. to be at all with this information that the Prophet sallallahu has provided us with. But to rather use all of this information to understand the true worth of heaven. And when we truly understand the worth of heaven, it is supposed to serve as important motivators to do good. Concerning working for heaven, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala admit us all to Jannah al-Firdaus inshaAllah, We should be focusing on two things. The first one is hard work and istiqama. To put in quality work and to be steadfast on good work. And number two, 
to always be looking for practices that the Prophet Sallallahu has mentioned that contains the promises of great reward. So this practice, you get this in heaven. Doing this gets you in heaven. These matters, these information are found in the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu So please learn all of these matters. I hope that this video has been beneficial. If you have benefited from this particular video, please do subscribe and share and pass this particular video around. Thank you so, so much everybody. I'll see you guys in the next one.